Hi, this is Paula from ca &E. Today we received an update on the lobster fishery. The federal government has decided that areas 23, 24, and 26, the latter being in our area, will open on May 15th. As you know, area 12, or local area for crab, will open this Friday. We spoke with Leonard LeBlanc from Gulf Nova Scotia Fishermen's Coalition, which represents fishers in our region, to get his reaction. This is what we had recommended from our association here in the, on the coalition side. Uh, we thought that going by to the 15th would give us a better, uh, a better appreciation of the market and also we'd have a better understanding of the COVID curve to see where if it's flattening or if it's going down the trend or, or what's happened because uh, health is still our, our main concern moving forward. Have you spoken with other associations in New Brunswick and in other areas? We we're in constant communications with our friends in New Brunswick and Quebec and on PEI. And uh, they had a vote in PEI, which was rather confusing. Uh, but the message was clear from New Brunswick and Quebec that they wanted to delay the season. Uh, New Brunswick also requested uh, May 15th. What are your next steps as an association? I think the next steps is to carry on with uh, dialoguing with DFO and other federal departments to uh, try to have a, a financial aid package to our fishermen because we realize even, even if it starts on the 15th, we're still going to need some financial aid because the market doesn't, have, doesn't seem to have improved much uh, for our fishery by the time we get here. There's fisheries that are ongoing now, which are probably uh, close to plug what the inventory required uh, for the current time. So we still need an aid package of, uh, of some kind from, uh, from the government. Now, DFO has told us that they will uh, work with us. Uh, I'm talking the regional office in Moncton. Uh, they're they're going to put one staff person uh, to work with us to look at the uh, current programs that are available from DFO and see if some fit uh, the fisheries. Uh, from what we understand, they don't quite totally fit yet. So maybe we can uh, find out which ones may fit and then where the gaps are and where we need to go back to uh, the government for more clarification. I think the EI one is still outstanding. Uh, we have a conference call tomorrow and there's supposed to be a rep from uh, the, uh, that department to talk to us. So hopefully um, we can get some clarification on, on the possibility of extending EI to uh, next spring. Will you still push to have the season closed completely? That's still our first option, providing we have the proper financial aid. Uh, I'm not sure that's going to come together quick enough for that to happen. I'm hoping that with, between now and the 15th, we can come to uh, a better understanding with the federal government. Uh, Trudeau seems to be announcing uh, different measures every day, so hopefully Someday he'll be announcing something specific for the, the fisheries. And the, the oil and gas got a package, the farmers got a package. So I think with, uh, with what we represent to the economy of Eastern Canada, I think it'd be, uh, if especially in the Atlantic provinces, it'd be viable for them to help us out too. Anything that you'd like to add? Well, I think we're, we're living through very sad times in Nova Scotia. So I'd like to offer my condolences to the families of what sadly happened over the weekend and also to the ones that were lost because of the COVID-19 uh, pandemic that we're still in. So I think, uh, I think people need to realize that we're still at war with this virus and that uh, we have to take whatever steps we need to uh, avoid uh, coming together in large groups. It's, it's rather ironic when you have the prime minister going on national news saying it wouldn't be proper for all MPs to sit in the house and bring their staff to Ottawa and then travel back home. But it's okay to put two or 300 uh, plant workers in a plant. So one, one is not jiving with the other. So we'd appreciate having consistency. If it's not proper for MPs to get together, so maybe it's not proper for plant workers to be working either. And, and they, they should be thinking about that and offering them a, a package also. Do you have any updates on the plant here? Uh, as far as I know, it's going to be running. Um, 
they have put some measures to help prevent uh, the COVID uh, virus from spreading. Uh, whether they work or not, time will tell, but uh, at least they're trying. You can send us an email at chne.television at gmail.com. Thanks for watching.